Hey, this is Chris over at Call Loop, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to double your webinar or teleseminar sales with simple SMS text messaging and voice broadcasting. And this video is going to focus on the lead pages integration. So if you use lead pages for your landing pages, for your webinar or teleseminar registration pages and thank you pages, you're going to look over my shoulder and I'm going to show you how to set this up to capture a cell phone number so we can send a text message, a reminder, or a voice broadcast to folks to drive them to attend the webinar and also drive sales for you. So it's really simple. There's really a two-step process. So in step one on the registration page, we want to get the lead first. So we simply want to capture the email address as a, at a minimum and maybe you want to capture a first name or a full name and also an email address a lot of people want to capture the cell phone on the initial opt-in you can choose to do that although we've seen conversion rates uh, drop because of requesting for the cell phone on the opt-in so what we do and we're going to show you in this video is how to capture the cell phone number on the opt-in or on the thank you page so after they register They've given their name, an email address, or email address only. On the thank you page, we're then going to capture the phone number, capture the cell phone number, and then that will then get put them into call loop where we can then send them a text message or voice broadcast. So that's it. So let's head over to lead pages. I'm going to show you how to set this up so you can start sending these reminders to increase attendance and drive more sales. So let's go. All right, so now that we're in lead pages, what we want to do is we want to create our registration page and then we want to create our thank you page. So I'm not going to get into how to create a registration page because that's simply going to capture, let's say, a name and an email address. And on the thank you page, this is where we want to capture the cell phone number, ca capture the phone number so we can send a text message reminder and a voice broadcast reminder. So from lead pages, what we want to do is we want to go here to thank you page. And lead pages provides a lot of different thank you pages. But some of these pages don't necessarily have a button which will then you know show a pop-up so we could capture the cell phone. So what we want to do is we want to just take a look and I like this template here, which is a new one. And at the time of recording, maybe it will be a different template, but you wanna find one that actually has a button. Um, and if it doesn't have a button, then there's no way to actually capture the cell phone. So if we go here, I'm just gonna select and use this template. For now, I'm just gonna use the standard builder. And what we wanna do, once we have the ability to edit this page, is essentially kind of hide some components in the page. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this. I'm going to hide this component and I'll just hide this one too. So essentially this page is really set up to do one thing, which is one, well actually two things. One is to congratulate them and say thank you for signing up for the webinar. And the second thing is to, if you'd like to receive a text message reminder, go ahead and click this button below, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna edit the information here. So to, whoops, to receive a SMS text message reminder 15 minutes before the webinar starts, please click the button below, okay? So when we click this, this is going to pop up and now we need to edit this. So what we can do here is I'm just going to delete the name. I'm going to click on the image here because that's a download image. And on the left side, I'm going to turn it from visible to hidden and just get rid of that. And obviously the text here, it says enter your email address to get started. I'm going to edit this as well. So I'm going to say enter your uh, mobile phone number. Click the button below to get started. Okay, and click the button below. All right, I'll change the button as well. I'm going to change it to yes. Please send me a SMS reminder. Okay. 
There we go. That's all we need to do. And again, if you want to go back, you can edit, you can kind of update this, this web form as well. So on the left side here, you're going to see integration settings. Okay. And the way to see the integration settings is to click on this button. And then on the left, you'll see integration settings. Okay. So you have all these different options. You can integrate it with, you know, a Weber and Infusionsoft, all that sort of stuff. Now from lead pages, we want to click on other. And if you don't have the HTML set up, um, and that's appearing here, you'll need to go to your integration settings in lead pages and add the ability to do HTML. So for now, I'm going to click other and it will allow me to paste in this HTML code. Okay. So now what we need to do is we're going to head over to call loop and we're going to create a web form so we can capture the email address and the phone number. All right. So now that we're logged into call loop, first thing we'll need to do is we're going to create a group and I'm just going to call this one lead pages. Thank you. And we're just going to go ahead and create a group. We don't need notifications or any integrations right here. Okay. So next thing it's going to say is create a follow up and we're going to want to do this because once they opt in, once they fill out this uh, form here, we want to send them a text message and that text message is going to say, uh, thanks. You know, you'll get this, um, text message 15 minutes before the webinar starts. Okay. So we'll create that and I'm just going to call this one welcome. And we want to send this immediately right after they fill out that web form. So I'm going to put you are confirmed for whoops for the webinar. A text message. Reminder, 15 minutes before the webinar starts, okay? All right, whatever we want to put here. Okay, so we can put a link, you know, we can add more information if we wanted to, but for now, we're just going to create this follow-up, okay? So again, this follow-up goes out to them immediately after they fill out that lead pages form. Perfect. So now that we have that set up, we need to create this web form. All right, so we'll go to web forms, we'll create a web form, and I'm just going to call this lead pages. Thank you. And now we can redirect it to wherever we want. So let's just say, you know, maybe we have another thank you page that we want to set up for now. Let's just go to google.com. Okay. Now you'll have to go back. You can always edit where you want this thank you page to go to, and maybe you want to just send them back to this page. Okay. So we will just collect the email and the phone number. So we'll create that web form and we click on code and call loop will give us a bunch of code here. So what you want to do is just click on that, highlight it and then copy. Okay. And we can close this. Now if we go back to lead pages, we want to paste in that code that call loop gave us. Okay. Now there's some code in here that we may just want to get rid of because it may conflict with lead pages and essentially it's this script. So if you scroll all the way to the top, highlight this script here and where the end script is, just go ahead and delete that. Okay. And we will then customize that form. Okay. And we are done. Now I'm going to change that button, which is sign up now. Uh, so link options and SMS reminder. Okay. Let's see advanced settings. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So there we go. So now that that is all set up, let's just give this a name. So I will call this call loop SMS reminder. Okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and save this. All right. So now that that page is saved, if I click publish, uh, lead pages should give me this uh, URL here. So if I click view page, it's going to take me to this page that I just created. And if I click this, here is our form, right? So it actually filled out the form for me. And all I need to do is press this button. Okay. Now it should take me over to Google. And it does. Okay. So now if I go over to call loop and my phone just beeped 
if I refresh the page here, I should see one, okay? Perfect. So now that those leads are being added over to call loop, let's say my webinar is coming up and that webinar is coming up, let's say in two weeks and the webinar is at 2 p.m. So what I need to do is I need to create a broadcast that will go out 15 minutes before, like I mentioned. So I'll just call this one SMS reminder. I wanna click send later, and now I can set the date. So again, like I mentioned, uh, it will be in two weeks, so let's just say it's next week on the 25th, and the webinar starts at 2 p.m. Eastern, so let's have this uh, web, you know, this text message go out about 20 minutes before at 1:40. Okay, so I'll click continue, and I can just type in my text message. So what I would want to say is, we are just about to start the webinar. Actually, we'll do. We're just 15 minutes away from the webinar. How to close more sales. Your email for the link. See you soon. Okay, so you can have people check their email or if you're using something like GoToWebinar, GoToWebinar gives you an ID. So you could say, you know, go to go to join go to webinar.com and enter in the ID, you know, whatever the ID is for the webinar. So in go to webinar we'll give you those details. So you have the option what you want to do there. Um, but you know, ideally I just like to say check your email. Okay? So check your email, see you soon. We're good to go. Create that broadcast and we're all set. So, what we can do now is we can queue this. So if I click Q, it's going to activate that broadcast. So on Wednesday, May 25th at 1.40, everyone who joins this group is now going to get this text message. Now I can also go back and I can actually create a voice broadcast. And a voice broadcast would be an automated call. And typically what I'd like to do for a voice broadcast is to set that up about one hour before the webinar. So I would do this voice broadcast at 1 p.m., which is an hour before the webinar starts at 2 p.m. So that's it. That's how you hook up call loop with lead pages. And that's it. So feel free to uh, integrate it that way, and it should be really simple to do. So thanks so much. Talk to you soon.